And the word for the hour is to stand still and watch God. Watch God. Praise God. You know, we can we can get to a place where we get so caught up that the enemy use what's going on in this world to grip us and to distract us. Come on, somebody. We can get so caught up that the enemy begin to distract us and, and cause us to lose focus on what we are really supposed to do in these end times. Praise God. And so, praise God, we know exactly what's happening those of us that are, are are moving in the spirit realm those of us that are you know on the wall those of us that are you know watching those of us that are seen in the spirit realm you see this is not about a title you know this is not about a title or titles praise god we respect offices we respect the five-fold ministry but this is about praise god the manifested glory of god praise god on this earth Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. And God is speaking. Praise God. God is speaking, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Praise the Lord. You understand? God's glory, praise God, will continue to saturate the earth. And as a matter of fact, it will be greater than it was before. Praise the Lord. You know, in 2019, praise God, in 2019, in the late part of 2019, I began to prophesy. It's all over Facebook, social media, YouTube. I began to prophesy while everybody was prophesying, you know, all everything would be smooth and dandy. There was something inside of me being stirred up to say, tell the people it's going to be a challenging year. It's going to be a challenging time. I was probably one of the few. I'm not the only one, but I can declare that the majority of the persons were saying it was going to be a blessed year and it was going to be all dandy and everything was going to be fine. But there was something inside of me saying, warn the people, warn the people that it's going to be a challenging year from politicians right up to pastors, from podium to pulpit. Praise God. And God would be shaken. He would be shaking the churches. He would be shaking those things that was not founded and grounded on him. Praise God. And we can see exactly. And I want you to know that 2021, it's going to be more challenging than 2020. Oh, I know that you might say, oh, I don't want to hear this because I can't take no more. But it's better that you are forewarned, that you know how to position yourself, that you know how to position yourself, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. It's better that you're forewarned. You understand? So it's better that you know that you position yourself and you prepare yourself for what's coming. Praise God. This is not the time to, 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 to play around. This is not the time to drop out. This is not the time to talk about, well, this week I'm going to be going and assemble with the brethren and the next week I'm going or the next 10 week I'm going. This is the time for us to draw closer to God. But I want you to know that despite all that man is doing, you must remember that Satan is the God of this earth, the God of this world. A lot of people don't remember that. A lot of people don't recognize that. That he is the God of this world. The God of this earth. The, the, the body of Christ. Praise God. The body of believers. Praise God. Ecclesia. Those that have been called out. Those that have been separated onto God. And for sacred use. Praise God. We are pilgrims. We are sojourners. We are in this world. But we are not really of this world. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. My God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If there's anyone, praise God, that, 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 that want to praise God, start praising him. Start praising him while you're still in this year. Because I'm telling you, praise God, those that are God's, God is going to continue to protect us. He's going to continue to provide for us. Praise God, he's going to continue to reveal things to us. He's going to continue to guide us. Praise the Lord. Those that are playing around, those that are not watching, those that, 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 that are only using social media as this platform to, 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 to make people believe that they're all that and, and behind the walls, they're playing games. God is exposing. Come on, somebody. God is exposing. Praise the Lord. We're in a time, praise God. We're in a time of exposure. Praise God. God is exposing 
He's exposing those secret things, those things that are that that, that, that are being done. Praise God to to take to take out humanity. Those things that are being done to destroy humanity. God is God. My God, Hallelujah. God is God. He's in control. Stand still and watch God. Praise the Lord. Psalms 46 and verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength. It's a well-known passage of scripture. Praise the Lord. It's a well-known passage of scripture, but the Holy Spirit would have me to break this down. Praise God to break down this word. Glory be to God that you be encouraged. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is, not God is going to be. God is, praise God. He is, he still is, praise God. As he was with Daniel, as he was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, praise God, as he was with, was with Esther, as he was with, with, with Esther and Mordecai, praise God. I'm telling you, God is, praise God. Hallelujah, our refuge and strength. Praise God, hallelujah. If you could just hold on to that, those two words, refuge and strength, praise God. You understand? A refuge, praise God, is that place where we can go and we know that we are protected. We know that we are sheltered. Glory be to God, hallelujah. That place where we can sleep, where we can rest in peace, praise God, where we can have tranquility, praise God. And he is our strength, praise God. Even when this old body feels weak, even when this old body feels tired, even when we feel like giving up, praise God, there is a strength within, within us, praise God. There's that inner strength, glory be to God, that comes from the Lord himself. Praise himself, praise the Lord. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, my God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It says, Psalms 46 says, God is our refuge and strength. Praise God. Hallelujah. Always ready to help in a time of trouble. I'm making it simple. I'm using the simplified Bible. Praise God that those that do not understand will understand because everybody needs to understand this word right here. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. What you got to understand, I always say, prophecy is twofold. It is foretelling and forthtelling. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is foretelling and forthtelling. Praise God. Hallelujah. Foretelling, where we speak those things, we utter those things, praise God, that we know not of in the natural senses. Praise God. It, it comes by divine revelation. Glory be to God. And we foretell. Praise the Lord. If it is from God, if the word is from God, directly from God, downloaded by God, revealed from God, it shall come to pass. Come on, somebody. It shall come to pass. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody want to praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that is foretelling. Praise God. Hallelujah. Foretelling is when we can take the word of God, when we understand the word of God. Praise God. When we take, praise God, that God breath word, that logos word, praise God, and that has been written and, and inscripted, praise God, and has become the Rima word, the now word. When we can take that word and bring it forth with the anointing, with simplicity and clarity that everyone can understand, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So embrace, praise God, the prophetic minister of forth telling, praise God, because it is the word of God. It is the word of God, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. It is the word of God that cleanses us and makes us whole. It is the word of God that strengthens us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So God is our refuge and strength. Always ready to help in times of trouble. God is with us in these times of trouble. God is with us, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. He is with us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In these trying times, in these troubled times. Praise God. Stand still. 
and watch God. Stand still and watch God. Praise God. In verse 2 of Psalms 46, it says, So we will not fear, oh my God. So we will not fear. Why is it that we will not fear? Because we know that God is our refuge and strength. Praise God. So we will not fear. Stand still and watch God. Get, off, get rid of fear. Get rid of doubt. Come on, somebody. Fear is a sin. Fear means you doubt God. You can't have faith and fear in the same place. It's not going to work. Like light and darkness do not work. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Verse, verse 2 of Psalms 46 says, So we will not fear when the earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. We will not fear. Praise God. It seems as if that the whole earth is shaken. Not necessarily, even though it's happening all over. Not necessarily right now as a uh, you know, physical thing. But the earth is in some sort of shaking. Praise God, because of what's going on. Come on, somebody. There is a shaking going on. There is a crumbling and a rumbling going on. But watch God. Watch God. Stand still and watch God. Watch God how God is going to dismantle and turn things around. Because let me tell you something. It is the church. It is the church that is protecting and keeping, praise God, all of the chaos from breaking out all over this world. It is the prayer of the saints. Oh my God, I wish I had some help in here. It is the prayer of the saints, praise God, that is keeping this world. We see all of these things happening. We see all that's going on around us. We see all of the pandemics and the pandemics and all of the different things that's happening. We see all of the fakeness that's going on. We see all of the pretense that's going on. And everything that man is trying to do to prove a point, they are being exposed. Watch God. Stand still and watch God. More to come. More to come. Come on, somebody. More to come. Stand still. Fear not. Trust God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we will not fear, praise the Lord. Verse 3 of Psalms 46 says, Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the foaming go on. Let them roar. Let them rail. God is still in control. I wish I had a witness in here. God is still in control. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. Oh, it seems as if that everything is rising up against you. It seems as if that everything that the enemy can fling at you is flinging at you. It seems as if that every problem that can that can be exalted and, and every problem that can be released is coming after you, after your marriage, after your finances, after your health, after your children, after your ministry, praise God, after your friends and and, and everything, your, your family member, it seems like everything is roaring up against you. But stand still. Stand still and watch God. Stand still and watch God. Start, as I said in the beginning, start praising him. Start giving him thanks for who he is. Praise God. Hallelujah. I serve notice on, on COVID. I serve, serve notice on pandemic, I serve notice that you will not take the place of God. You will not get the glory and the praise out of my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I ascribe all glory and praise to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Jehovah Elohim. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The all powerful God. Hallelujah. I wish that I had somebody to praise the Lord in here. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let the oceans roar and foam. Let them set up their foams and their fumes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let the mountains tremble and, 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 and do all it's going to do. Come on, somebody. Praise God. God is in control. God is in control. Glory to God. In verse 4 of Psalms 46. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
A river brings joy. Watch the good news. A river brings joy to the city of our God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Out of our bellies shall flow rivers of joy. Out of our bellies shall flow rivers of praise. Out of our bellies shall flow, praise God, rivers, praise God, of excitement. Glory be to God. Out of our bellies and our inner chambers, praise God, shall flow and bring forth, praise God, rivers of expectancy. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm expecting God to move mightily. Praise God. I'm expecting God, praise God, to pour out his spirit upon all flesh as it was prophesied. Praise God by Joel and others. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I am expecting God to move on this earth like never before, before the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, praise the Lord. Every word that has been prophesied, praise God, must come to pass. Glory be to God. We are going to see one of the greatest revivals taking place on this earth, praise God, before the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory be to God. Amidst the challenges, in spite of all the things that we are facing with, in spite of all the threats on our, on our lives, praise God, we are going to experience revival. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Stand still and watch God. Praise God. Start saying for me to live as Christ and to die as gain. Praise God. Hallelujah. I feel that anointing in this place. Praise God. Hallelujah. Is there anybody that can sense the anointing? Is there anybody that can feel the power? Come on and testify. Praise God. I sense the presence of the Lord moving upon someone right now. I sense the presence of the Lord. I see persons are just rubbing their shoulders. Goosebumps. Praise God. Are taking over. Come on and testify. Praise God. God is getting ready to move on your behalf. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, there is a shout somewhere in the earth. Praise God. Hallelujah. There is a praise somewhere in the earth. Praise God. There is a praise somewhere. Hallelujah. Somebody can't hold their seat. Somebody's by a desk somewhere and they're shaking. They can't hold their seat. Praise God. Somebody's on the job. Praise God. Somebody's praising God somewhere. Somebody is saying, yes, Lord, I'm going to stand still and I'm going to watch what you're going to do. Praise God. God is getting ready to do something for us, brothers and sisters, and I'm excited. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let not your heart be troubled. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Psalms 46, verse 4, say, a river brings joy to the city of God. Ah, praise God, the sacred home of the Most High. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 5 says, God dwells in that city. It cannot be destroyed. Let me tell you something. We are the temple of God. Hallelujah. Our bodies, we are the temple of God where the Holy Spirit dwells. Praise God. Where God dwells. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is no longer a physical temple. It is no longer a physical building. Praise the Lord. But from the moment we gave our heart to the Lord, praise God and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah has taken us over, praise God. God dwells in us, praise God. It shall never be destroyed. We shall never be destroyed, praise God. Though that those that know their God shall do great exploit. Those that know their, know their God shall do exploits, praise God. God is getting ready to use you. God is getting ready to use you. God is getting ready to fill your mouth with words that you didn't even know was there. Praise God. God is bringing back some things to your remembrance. Praise God, hallelujah. God is visiting you in dreams and visions. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. His angels are, are encamping around you. Praise the Lord. Around your household, around your children. Praise God. And around everything that pertains to you. It shall not be destroyed. I decree and declare it right now in the name of Jesus. It shall not be destroyed. Glory be to God. I don't care how bad it looks. Praise God. Let them fire you. Let them lay you off. Let them threaten you. Let them talk about you. Let them put you down. Let them ostracize you. Let them reject you. God is getting ready to do something. Hallelujah. And the world will see that God is with you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One of the things that is lacking today is a lot of people have forgotten about praise. Hallelujah. There is something about that praise. What the enemy wants to do is to use the media to distract us. Come on, to distract us and bombard our minds so that we don't even read the Bible, 
so that we don't even want to go to church. We want to be stuck on a television. You want to be stuck on a radio. You want to be stuck to, 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 to some news online or something. But I hear the Lord say and tell my people to worship me, worship me, praise me, stay focused because I am still God. I am still God. There is nothing that no man can do on this earth unless God approves it. And everything that God approves is to enhance the body of Christ. Everything, oh glory to God. Everything that God does is to strengthen the church. Everything that's happening, even during the COVID, it is a time of separation. It is a time where God pulls us back onto himself. It's a time where God wants us to look up, praise God, and stop looking around. Praise God. It's a time when God wants us to listen to him and stop listening to all of the noises that is around us. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. It is a time when he's calling us back to prayer, when he's calling us back to our knees. Praise God. When he's calling us back to seek him, to live for him, to trust him. Glory be to God. My God. Hallelujah. Stand still. Praise God and watch God. Watch God. Stand still. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What a word. Praise God. Hallelujah. In verse 5 of Psalms 46, it says, God dwells. God lives. God abides. Praise God. In that city, it cannot be destroyed. It cannot be destroyed. The church will never go down. I'm talking about the local congregants, the true and living church, the ecclesia. Praise God. The body of Christ all over the world. Praise God. Hallelujah. These are not the days to fight over religion. These are not the days to fight over denomination. These are not the days for us to be bickering and fussing over who is right and who is wrong. All judgment, all everything belongs to God. Let every man work out. You got to work it out. You got to work it out. Work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The church will never be destroyed. No matter what man does, praise God, they can close us down for a while. They can say, oh, you can't get it. But at the end of the day, praise God, God will open doors, praise God, whether it is Zoom or whether it's social media, Facebook, YouTube, whatever it is, God is going to find ways, praise God. But there is something about that assembling. There is something about when we can get together and see one another's faces. There is something, praise God, about when we can get together and smile with each other. Praise the Lord and embrace one another. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, praise God, the church of the living God will never be destroyed by the hands of man. Come on, somebody. Can somebody get his praise enough to praise God? Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to know in, in Psalms 46 verse 5 where it says, God dwells in the city, cannot be destroyed. From the very break of day, God will protect it. From the very break of day, God will protect his people. Praise God. From dawn, God is already watching over his people. Praise God. Before you even open your eyes, before I even open my eyes, praise God. Angels have already been dispatched and in position to protect. Angels are already dispatched, praise God, at points. Come on, somebody. Angels already know where you will be going. Angels already know what you will be doing. They are already positioned. Come on, at offices. They are positioned at buildings. They are positioned in supermarkets. They are positioned at stoplights. Come on, somebody. I wish I had a witness in here. Praise the Lord. They are positioned everywhere protecting you and all that belongs to you my god glory be to god mm. psalms 46 and verse 6 says the nations are in chaos watch the word of god this is prophetic praise god hallelujah god knew exactly what would be happening at this time praise god nothing is a surprise to god praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god read it for yourself praise god in Psalms 46, verse you can say the nations are in chaos. It didn't say the nations are going to be in chaos. It says the nations are in chaos. Look around in our society today. Look around and see if there is not chaos and confusion from political leaders right down. Praise God. One minute this is one thing being said. The next minute is another thing from medical doctors and lawyers. Oh, hallelujah. 
praise God, but those that know their God, hallelujah, is not surprised. You should not be surprised. Praise God, you should not be surprised at what's happening because the word of God tells us that the nations are in chaos and their kingdoms crumble. Praise God, kingdoms are coming down. And I want you to know, listen out for it. Praise God, there's got to be great chaos and confusion, confusion amongst the big elites. Come on, somebody. There's got to be some crumbling. There's got to be some chaos. There's got to be some, some things coming out in short order. Praise God. Hallelujah. That you're going to look back and say, yes, this is it. Kingdoms will be coming down because I'm telling you, God will be exalted amongst the nations. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God's voice is about to be thundered throughout the earth. God's voice is about to be thundered. Praise God. He's going to use men and women like myself and others. Praise God to thunder the voice of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This is not about no fancy talk. This is not about no little cute sugar coated stuff. Praise God. This is the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In verse 7 of 46, praise God. Psalms 46, as I'm getting ready to come down, praise God. It says, the Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. Glory be to God. If you never get anything, remember, praise God, the Lord of heaven's armies. Not heaven's army. Heaven's armies. Praise God. Hallelujah. There are some heavenly armies. Praise God that God has prepared to fight and wage war on behalf of his people. That's why, praise God, as prayer warriors, this is not the time, praise God, to play around. Praise God, as intercessors, praise God, this is not the time, praise God, to just play games. Praise God, you got to be on your knees when nobody is seeing you. Praise God, you got to be on your knees travailing. Travail for your pastors, travail for your prophets and prophetesses, travail for your apostles and evangelists and teachers, travail for your brothers and sisters. Travail for your family and your children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Travail for your finances. Travail for your health. Travail for your businesses. Travail for your ministries. Travail for your marriages. Come on, somebody. Praise God. It's time. Praise God. Hallelujah. That we get back on our knees before God and we cry out to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is getting ready to, oh, to, to, to sound the alarm on the earth. Praise God that will shake every other kingdom. Praise God. There is one kingdom that will stand forever and ever. Oh, oh, hallelujah. There is one kingdom that will stand throughout eternity. And that is the kingdom of almighty God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So God's voice thunders and the earth melts. Praise God. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress, praise God. The same God that was with the Israelites, uh, the same God that was with Moses and Aaron and the people of Israel, oh God. The same God, hallelujah, oh God, that was with the prophets of all Elijah and Elisha. The same God with, that was with Habakkuk, praise God, Amos, and all of the prophets of all is the same God that is with us today. Glory be to God. So the word of God says in Psalms 46 and verse 8, it says, come, come, calling you. Praise God. I'm calling all of you. He say, come, see the glorious works of the Lord. As I said in the beginning, God will be glorified. Stop glorifying the devil. Stop glorifying COVID. Stop glorifying everything else. Hallelujah. That is contrary and contra uh, uh, contrary to the word of God and the things of God. Lift up the name of Jesus. Talk about the goodness of God. Tell of his goodness. Praise God. Tell of the times when you had no food on your table and God provided for you. Tell of the time when your pockets and your handbags was empty and God provided for you. Tell of the time when the doctors uh, didn't know what to do. Praise God. Tell of the times when the church prayed and hands was laid on you and it seems as if nothing was happening for you. And God gave you a miracle. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, you say, come. Psalms 46 verse 8. He say, come. See the glorious works of the Lord. See how he brings destruction upon the world. We are in a time of destruction. Destruction has hit the world. 
Yes, praise God. Man has turned his back on God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Man has turned his back on God. Man is worshiping the creature more than the creator. And now destruction is on the land. Praise God. But those that know their God, those that trust their God, hallelujah, praise God, will do exploits. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, come and see the glorious works of the Lord. Hallelujah. Man today is more concerned. Praise God about COVID. Praise God. Everything is COVID, 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 COVID. Oh, what about Jesus, 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 Jesus. What about Almighty God? Has God been, has been God gone into hiding? Has our God fell fallen asleep? No. Come and see the glorious works of the Lord. Oh, he causes wars to end throughout the earth. He breaks the bow and snaps the spear. He burns the shield with fire. I'm talking about the God, praise God, that we serve. Oh, in verse 10 of Psalms 46, it says, be still. Praise the Lord. It says, be still. Oh, hallelujah. It says, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know. Take some time out to be still in the presence of God. As from this day, praise God. Hallelujah. He said, be still. Come on, come apart yourself again. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Come apart yourself again. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come apart yourself again. Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored. I will be honored by every nation, every island, every country. Oh, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. It's time that we get back to the word of God. It's time that we get back to the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. If there was ever time you need to praise God is now. He said, I will be honored by in every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. Praise God. No matter what man is doing, God is in control. God said, I will be honored. Praise God. Hallelujah. God said, I will be honored. Praise the Lord. I will be honored. Glory be to God. So if you don't want to believe it, that's your business. But I'm standing on the word of God. I am using the word of God. Hallelujah. I'm not coming with my own intellect or head knowledge. I am standing on the sure promises of Almighty God. God's word said in Psalms, praise God. Psalms 46 and verse 10, he said, Be still and know that I am God. I am God. I will be honored. No matter what's happening. No matter what the media is saying. No matter what they are saying. No matter what summits or conferences they're having. No matter what meeting they're having. God said, tell the people, remind the people that I am God. I am still God. I am that I am that was with Moses. I'm still God. And I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world, says God. My God, is there somebody that want to praise him? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I really want to thank God for each and every one of you. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. And in verse 11, it says of Psalms 46, the Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Praise God. Remember that word was said in Psalms 46, verse 7. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. And God said to remind, you know, it was, it was on the verse 7. Praise God. God is saying it is finished. It is completed. I said it on the seventh verse. And I'm saying it at the end. Praise God. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. I pray and trust that you have been wonderfully blessed by this word. I pray that you have been edified. I pray that you have been lifted in your spirit. Glory be to God. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and indwelling Savior, I take this opportunity to remind you of Romans 3. <coughs> sorry. Romans 3 verses 23 where it says, Everyone is a sinner 
I'm reminding you, everyone was born in sin and iniquity, shape and iniquity. Praise God. Every one of us, praise God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every one of us, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you to know that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Praise God. Romans 6.23. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so I stop by to let you know that it's not God's will that any should perish. But everyone, praise God, should come and receive and have eternal life. If you're a backslider, come on back home to Jesus before it's too late. If you are falling along the wayside, dust yourself off. Get up. Jesus loves you. Even in your mess, he still loves you. Praise the Lord. Even in that situation, he still loves you. It is not his will that you should perish. It is not his will that you should die and go to a burning hell. Praise God. It is his will that you should have everlasting life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He is still the prince. He is still, praise God, the lamb of God. The one that was slain for every one of us including you, praise the Lord. And so on this beautiful day, on this beautiful afternoon, beautiful night, beautiful morning, depends on what time and where you are, I give you Jesus. And I remind you, praise God, the Lord of heaven's armies is here amongst us. He's there amongst you. He's right in the midst of you. Right there in the turmoil, he's right there. He is the God of Israel, and he is our God. Praise God, our God of fortress. Praise God, he is our fortress. He is our refuge and strength, a present help in time of trouble. Praise the Lord, trust him. May the Lord bless you until next time. This has been your friend, praise God, Apostle, Prophetess, Dr. Juliet Fagan, coming to you from the Vision Miracle Church of God Evangelistic Association, along with co-pastor and assistant, praise God, Bishop Leroy Fagan, Missionary Georgia Prayer and Deaconess, Amarel, Amarel Powell, and, you know, Sister Gail, and all of the brethren, praise God, all over Fort Morris and Catherine, Jamaica, Dembe, down there in Evans Meadows, Clarendon. May the Lord bless you. For those of you, praise God, that are viewing, praise the Lord, on the PFM channel, I want to thank God for all of you. Thank you for your calls. Thank you for your prayers. Those of you on Facebook, God bless you. You're a wonderful group of people. Those of you on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscription button. I need your help. Praise the Lord. Those of you on Facebook, make sure, praise God, that you like and you follow, that you never, ever miss another broadcast. God bless you. Shalom.